What's going on, everybody? See here. Welcome back to some more Subnautica Below Zero. Hopefully, you're all having a wonderful day. I'm having a fantastic day. Well, okay, the day could be better. I've recorded about uh, an entire episode's worth of Subnautica before I realized that I didn't hit the record button. So, <laughs> uh, all that really happened was we went out and we scanned some of the architect caches, those those green things. Um. And we got a couple messages, you know, we talked back and forth a little bit. There is one message that I am going to play because it was pretty important. Um, but yeah, pretty exciting stuff. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, like, subscribe, all the fun things. And without further ado, let's get on into it. So this is the message that we played. I can visualize a location where we may find an important component for my body. The image is hazy, but I am sure it is correct. A stark surface landscape, dangerously cold. Curved spires stretch to the sky. So that message right there, I believe was added for 1.0. I don't believe it was before 1.0 because I always wondered how we would get to the point of knowing where that body cache was. So in that message, it basically said, dangerously cold area, stark barren landscape, and spires that reach the sky. So it is the ice spikes biome in the uh, in the winter area, which is super exciting, super Welcome exciting stuff. So, thank you, appreciate it. Um, but yeah, super exciting stuff. I don't actually know, why did I come back here? I don't know, let's grab some food and let's head out because we got some more things to do. We got more things to scan, more stuff to do. Um, Actually, I'm gonna take some of those with me. I'm gonna take this, take that. Oh, really, you made salt? Oh no, we're gonna leave the salt there. Uh, somebody told me that if I leave the salt there, that it's, uh, that it will only make water. So awesome. Okay. So we're going to, oh, I swear these stairs, they hate me. They hate me sometimes, but let's go ahead. We're going to head, uh, we're going to head. Mm. Let's see. I gotta get my bearings here. North. That pond's there. North. We're gonna go like west. We're gonna go that way. Yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna go like southwest ish. I don't know. <laughs> we're gonna see. It's gonna be an excitingly good time. Um, okay. So uh, yeah, basically that's all we did. That that was all we did. Like that was the, you know the most exciting stuff. And I know I was, I was like, oh, an entire entire episode. It's like a half an episode recorded. Uh, but yes, thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully you're all having a fantastic day. But. We are getting some things done and having a good time at it. I'm also looking for some new games. If you guys have any new games that you want me to check out, please leave a comment down below. Super curious. We've been playing uh, Subnautica for a while and uh, I've been playing a lot of other games for a while too, but I'm just, you know, it's, I feel like it's time to check out some new stuff and just kind of see, see what's new. I've been really enjoying the Ark stuff, uh, the new Ark Genesis stuff. So you should check out that too. It's pretty fun. Pretty good times. Um, okay, so let's see. I think I'm trying to go this way. I'm trying to look for... Okay, yeah, I think this is the right way. I think we go this way, then I think we go to... Yeah, see, here's some jellyfish. I think this is the area for, uh, for the, for the place that we need to go. I haven't got the, uh, I haven't got a ping yet from Alan. Interesting. Alan, are you going to ping me about this place or no? Did I go the wrong way? No, it's right here. Hmm. We must have to get really, really close. Unless we've already been over here. Have we already been over here? No, the bridge hasn't been. No, we haven't done any of this yet. Well, we're going to hop out and check it out because this is what we're here to do. We are here to do the things. All right, let's go ahead and pop this guy off here. Get down, raw. Pop in. Uh, how full is your storage? A little bit of silver. That's fine. Hop in. No, stop it. Bad, bad. PDA. Interprawn suit. Thank you. Appreciate it. We. All right, we are free. We are free. We are free. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to go up to this bridge because we're going to learn how to make hydraulic fluid. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. 
Amazing, right? Exactly. There is something of significance beyond this bridge. It was important to Ultera, but more important to me. Will it help us build you a body? I believe so, yes. So, basically, that's the part two of saying, hey, Ice Spikes Biome, Barren Wasteland, Wintry Cold, beyond this bridge. Got it. Got it. Let's go ahead and scan our uh, ruptured hydraulic fluid. So now we know how to make hydraulic fluid, and we can't do anything until we make that. So, fantastic, fantastic. Now, I honestly prefer taking the prawn suit over there as opposed to the, sea, the snow fox. Because the prawn suit offers you more protection. It doesn't kick you off. You know what I mean? So it's super handy. But we're going to we're going to address that later. Right now, we're going to go to we're going to go to the Fee Robotics place. And we are going to go Ultera facility beacon detected nearby. Yep. Unique identifier. Fi Robotics Center. Fi. We're going to go to Fi Robotics. <laughs> we're going to explore we're going to check this place out. Pathfinder tool. We already have that. Not worried about it. I like how they had their landing pad right here. Like, they land here and then take off right there. All right, five robotics time. This place is uh, this place is awesome. This place has a lot of lot of good stuff to scan in it. So, five robotics. This is where Sam worked. This is, and we got to take our time here because we got all sorts of things. We got a snow fox hover pad fragment. Absolutely. Containers, some batteries. I'll take those. New blueprint synthesized. We're going to go back behind here because I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's just the other landing pad deal. OK, let's hop out of here. Let's see. Uh, let's go in here. What we got? What we got? What we Sam got? Sam loved working here with her spy pinglings. Do all humans like work? The lucky ones do. Are you lucky? I used to think I was. You don't think you're lucky anymore? That's sad. PDA. Hey, Sam. Oh, hey there, pangling buddy. <laughs> Hi, Fred. What brings you this way? I was just passing by. Lillian wanted a hand with a deep dive out in the bridges. You know, I think she's right. There is some weird stuff out there. The clicking sound? An SOS. I heard it with my own ears. So you think she's right? This must have been Sam's room. But something's not right. Something is not right. Combined with a frozen water sauce, water purification tablets can create drinkable water as you explore the snowy surface. Uh, okay, well, we're going to replay the message once we get out of here. Because that's typically what happens. Well, hold on, let's finish this one. Hey, Sam. Oh, hey there, pangling buddy. <laughs> Hi, Fred. What brings you this way? I was just passing by. Lillian wanted a hand with a deep dive out in the bridges. You know, I think she's right. There is some weird stuff out there. The clicking sound? An SOS. I heard it with my own ears. So you think she's right? There's intelligent life down there? I don't know. I'll leave that to you scientist types. This scientist is more at home with these penglings. But if my sister was here, she'd be all over this. Wait, are you telling me you're not the brains in the family? <laughs> oh, my family has many different brains. Like a... A Hydra? Uh, well... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, actually, I, I like that analogy. Makes it hard to get along sometimes, but it's never dull. Hi, you. How's everything at Pengling Central? <laughs> oh, fine. But I haven't heard anything since giving the footage to Zeta. It's been, what, a week? Did she promise you a report? No, but I expected some kind of reaction. Maybe I should take it up with Emmanuel. 
It is Kara, after all, and it could cause a lot of suffering if it got out. Why would it get out? We have professional containment and know how to neutralize it in an emergency. Sam, I love you, but you don't know what you're talking about. You love me? <laughs> Wait, why do you know so much about this? It's my area of research. Why are you being evasive? <sighs> oh, I'm gonna tell you something, and then you have to drop this crusade you're on before you damage your career. We're researching the bacteria. What kind of research are you doing? I don't want you worrying about this. Uh, we are aware of the possible downsides, but they're far outweighed by the potential. That's as much as I can tell you. <sighs> Sam. I, I need to think. I have to go. So I'm trying to remember, like, what what is this this Kara bacteria? In the first Subnautica, it did nothing but kill stuff, right? So like, what what benefits can it have? I don't understand. It makes everybody green, slimy, and pustule-like. Like, you know what I mean? I don't understand. Like, I mean, I could understand, like, hey, you know, if there's a zombie virus outbreak and it's bringing people from back from the dead, like, I could understand, like, well, they're back from the dead so they could live longer, you know? You could possibly get that. Like, this doesn't do anything! <laughs> I don't know. Um, did we get another thing from... What was that PDA? I don't know what that PDA was. Okay, let's see. What else we got around here? Uh, did we already get that? This fancy looking aquarium, some speakers. Okay, so we got all this stuff in here. Wait, did we get... Hold on. I think we did get everything. Wall shelves. Everything, maybe. I don't know. Let's see. Let's go, uh... Let's go up here and let's look at uh, let's look oh my gosh a portal <laughs> let's look at the portal shall we can't do anything with the po let's tell the portal though not from this side we have to uh, we have to activate it from the other side so unfortunate but you know I get it I get it also there's a room back here that is completely full of of crates. Like, look at that room. You see that room? I don't know how to get back there. Like, I don't know if there is a way to get... Oh! Propulsion cannon. Do I have that unlocked? Did we unlock the propulsion cannon yet? Propulsion cannon. We found one of two. That's how you get back there. Mm-hmm. Sure is. I mean, there's a lot of goodies there, too. Fiber mesh. Take that. Oh, look at that beautiful waterfall. Okay, let's check this room out. What have we got in here? This room we can't ever go in. I'm guessing it's a bathroom. It's a pote. Uh, eh. I'm stuck. Everything's fine. Wall shelves. Already got that. Fiber mesh. Sure. Take everything until I start getting full and stuff, right? kitchen oh what was this oh there's the thermos we can use our coffee maker now oh <laughs> you brought a friend spy pangling in training we're recording audio is that okay of course i have the photos you sent um what am i looking at here Kara pustules on the frozen leviathan that's nothing to worry about in and of itself it's well contained the ice samples suggest it's been frozen since the time of the outbreak. The strain made the planet uninhabitable. If it mutates... Are you feeling unsafe? Very. Uh, if I escalate this issue for you, will you feel comfortable enough to concentrate again? I have deadlines for the snow fox and the mining bots coming up. I really need your focus on the penglings. Oh, yeah. That's a relief, actually. I was expecting more of a fight. Nothing is more important than our safety. I'll take <laughs> care of it, okay? Thanks. I won't let you down. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. Keep up the good work. <laughs> that reminds me. It's like, what's what's one thing that everybody says that's always a lie? Safety is number one importance. <laughs> hey, guys. I'm so glad you're here. Where else would I be? Like I'd miss Fred being exposed as the alien intruder. 
<laughs> That's not gonna happen. But you didn't say you were not the intruder. No, not this argument again. I beg you. I think the game will settle this debate. <sighs> so, I just want to ask you something quick before Zeta gets back and we start playing. It's about the cavern with the frozen Leviathan. I investigated and... You I... investigated? <laughs> when? I didn't see you. Maybe you were asleep or busy doodling inappropriate sea creatures. Those drawings are art. Anyway, I've looked into it, and I think we have reason to be concerned. It wasn't that long ago this planet was uninhabitable. But if we work together, we can get them to put an end to the Corral mutation experiments. <sighs> I, I, I'm, I'm not comfortable with this. Samantha, you're paranoid. Come on now, you're Sam out. She has her safety at heart. And the rest of us don't? Zeta! <sighs> Can we play the game now? Fine. Yeah, so Sam doesn't like the uh, the Kara. Uh, Altera is messing with it, mutating it, seeing what they can do with it. And you know how that always ends. It always ends as, you know, a research well, facility lets out the lets out their mutated thingy, and then it goes horrible, terrible, awful disaster, and then people die, and it's like, yeah, you know? So good on Sam for trying to stop him. All right, now, where do we need to go from here? Let's go, let's go up here. Let's go around and see what we got. I kind of have an idea of where everything's at now since uh, <laughs> I've done this recently. Uh, can we get up here? I think we can. I'm pretty sure we can go this way. Put, we can go this way right here and then put this way right here. Heck yes, looks good. And then we are going to run over to the area with the frozen Leviathan. We're going to do that right now because right now I don't have anything that I need in order to, uh, in order to like fix anything over there. So is this the last snow fox fragment that we need? Awesome. We got it. Okay. Because I don't have everything I need to like, you know, finish that area, but we're going to go check it out at the very least. Is that quartz? That's titanium. I'm pretty sure. It's not a snow fox. Fragment. Man, those snow foxes break down all the time. All right, let's see. Which way do we need to go? For sure we need to go this way. We go through here and then we squeeze through this hole and then we pop out right here in this magical cave. Quite a magical cave. Can we drill these? No. You know, I was hoping, I was hoping that we'd be able to drill those, uh, those glowing bits, but not quite. More, uh, sea moth. Uh, we should see, yep, frozen trees. We are here. These trees are super cool too. It'd be kind of cool if you could like plant those, like in, uh, in an indoor thing. All right, we're going in here. We're doing it. This is the place. Oh, okay. We uh, can't go beyond that with that. So let's take this guy. We got some magnetite in here. Do I scan the magnetite? Okay, I'll scan the magnetite for you. Uh, Parvin's place. We'll go check this place out. Awesome. Uh, do we need to close the door? Also live in storage. 
Did the person who live here also live in storage? <laughs> Refrigerator. Anything good in there? Nope. Some ice. Um, a poster of a Leviathan. A poster of the Sea Dragon and Prawn Suit. That's kind of cool. Parvin's bed. What's this one? My Where's dearest logs? Adeline at Rosita. Uh, not dearest. Who says that anymore? Adeline, Rosita. Everything on the mission is going very well. Do you see now? Your doubts were unfounded. I am loved here, and... Uh, no. Rosita will say, Papa, why do you have to brag all the time? Papa, it's embarrassing. I want to apologize. Okay, no, that's taking things too far. I know we didn't leave things on the best note, but I want you to know I love you and I miss you. I don't know why I say the things I say sometimes. They just come out. I was going to send you a message saying how great everything is here and how everyone loves me. I've had a promotion to a very important security dossier. I'm treated like a hero. But really, this is a cold, wet planet. The scientists are full of themselves. There's no action to speak of. The only thing I look forward to is weekly games of Alien Intruder, but more than that, of coming home to you. I am sorry for all the times I did not appreciate you, of our family, or the good life we had. And I... Oh, who am I kidding? I can't send this. What's the use? I feel bad for the guy. Feel bad for him. If you're not cheating, then you won't mind if I record this conversation. Is that right? I have nothing to hide. Then what were you whispering about with Vin? Nothing. Th that guy is so lawful good, it's annoying. Wait, so you were trying to cheat. But no cheating occurred, so what does it matter? It matters to team morale. If you can cheat in the game, how can they trust you out there? I'm sorry, did you feel left out? Perhaps you would like to make a deal. Ugh, Parvin, no. You're shameless. You really never give up, do you? I don't. That's true. <laughs> Have a manual put that in my next eval. Very persistent. <laughs> That's funny. All right, let's see. Here we go. The grand reveal. I sense many things here. Death among them. Yep. Hello? Someone there? Oh. No. Samantha? Is that you? Oh, yeah. Told you I was investigating. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'm on my way out. You can't keep doing this. We have protocols. Harvin, stand back. Don't come any closer. Why? What are you up to? Harvin, I mean it. Stop. I... So, is this is where they were in the ice? So this is where she was standing. Is that is that the case? Ooh, I think got crushed under some serious ice. Everything else is looking well. Interesting. My investigation of the fire excavation site including the cave entrance and surrounding area, revealed minor cosmetic damage to Altera survey equipment and significant structural damage to the natural cave entrance and supports. Resulting debris prevents cave access without heavy excavation equipment. Only foot access is currently possible. We are reporting two casualties, Pavan Ivanov and Samantha Ayu. Both bodies were found beneath the rubble at the cave entrance. Ivanov had just entered the cave. Footprints were still visible by the entrance. Deeper into the cave, Ayu appeared to have sustained a fall. Poor souls. What was Ayu doing? 
Nothing in her file suggests a history of vandalism or carelessness. And yet, I can only conclude that the cause of the collapse was employee negligence. We will need to investigate a possible connection to the explosive damage reported at Omega Lab. If there is a connection, who is responsible? It was Samantha. <laughs> Easy answer. Patrol log, excavation site, day 33, morning. I thought I saw something moving on the screen, but it was just that I sneezed, wiped it off. Fred's not convinced the Leviathan is really dead, mm -mm. but I've never even seen it blink. Nevertheless, I am now undertaking the mandatory foot patrol. Inside the cave, confirming a whole lot of nothing. Creature still dead, cave still boring. I miss the mining site. At least you could talk to people. Oh, wait now, what's this? A rock. I found an interesting rock. That makes three this week. The others will be happy to have a friend. Concluding patrol. Perimeter secured. Nothing to report. End log. Mm. This was Sam's necklace. She never took it off. Can we put it on? Is that a, is that a thing? Nope. It appears that your sister's death was accompanied by significant destruction. Doesn't make any sense. She would never destroy a base. Well, baselessly. Are your feelings confused? I am detecting more than one. I, I don't know. I, I feel disillusioned, worried. I thought I knew Sam better than I really did. When we were kids, I was always the one breaking and rebuilding things. She wouldn't even go into a bake sale without a plan. For classic oatmeal cookies, no less. So serious. She wouldn't have anything to do with my molecularly transformed caramel pretzel lumps. Your mind goes easily to food. To distract you from your feelings. Okay, I think that's enough mind reading for now. This wasn't negligence. That's not Sam. This was something else. Mm-hmm. Was that Sam's scanner? They're exactly the same. Should we swap out our scanner for Sam's scanner? I don't know if it was Sam's scanner. You never know, right? Oh, shoot. I don't know which one it was. <laughs> we'll just reload a battery in it. All right, it's fine. Okay, so we've got some, uh, we've got some Leviathan. What? Or vein. But there's ore vein here. I don't know. We got some Leviathan to check out, and I hate checking this thing out. It's terrifying. Like, I know it doesn't do anything. But, like, I'm still worried it's going to do something. Um, Let's go ahead and drop the titanium. Grab the advanced wiring kit. Blast. I don't need that. Don't need that. Okay. Oh, let's go in here. I swear if they change this for 1.0, I'm gonna... It sounds like it's breathing still. There's a camera, frozen creature's claw. This thing is terrifying. Prawn suit that was drilling that is no longer drilling. I'm just saying, why does it sound so creepy in there? You know what I mean? Terrifying. Still terrifying. Fiber mesh, synthetic fiber, silk and rubber. I hate this thing so much. 
I mean, like, it's frozen in ice by, like, a lot. It's still terrifying. Okay, let's go up the ladder. I don't even know why these ladders are here. I think it's so we can go up top and scan its dome. Yep. Oh my god. I have no desire to play with this thing whatsoever. Insert sample. Requires injectable container to function. So that's what we need to come back with. Is an injectable container for this thing. Oh, terrifying. I wonder if you sit here and watch it long enough if it, if it actually moves. Like, watch it's programmed to move like once every like in-game 30 minutes. And it's just like a blink. <laughs> oh man, that would be so scary. <sighs> That'd be terrifying. All right, so that's about all we can do in here for now. We've got uh, we've got more stuff that we can do once we get an injectable sample. We can come back for that. What the heck am I scanning here? Why does it keep popping up random like scannable ore veins? I don't know. All right, so yes, let's head back to our prawn suit, which is right over here. But I think we're actually going to go ahead. We're going to end the episode there. We're going to end it there. Thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, all the fun things. Next episode, we're going to explore this area a little bit more, this wintry area. And, um, yeah, we're going to get some things rocking and rolling. So, yeah, thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully you had a fantastic time. Make sure you leave a like, comment down below, and let me know. Are there any new games that you're excited about coming out? I'm super curious. Also, we are playing Ark, so if you want to check out the Ark, make sure you check out the Ark. It's a lot of fun. Um, oh, man. By traversal of night, I shall return to my base. <laughs> but yes, have a good one. I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.